Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel! Well guys, today we are going to continue working on my collection of Disney princess dolls and this time we are going to make a princess Tiana doll from the Princess and the Frog movie. And actually, I can tell you honestly, I had no idea that such a Disney princess existed before I started seeing your comments under my videos from you asking me to make a princess Tiana doll. Well, actually, it's probably quite normal because the movie was released in 2009, I think. So I was already 25 years old and I had absolutely zero interest in Disney films and Disney characters and all these things. So thank you so much for educating me. And this is actually quite an important princess, I think, because this is the first African-American Disney princess, yes, in 2009, the first black Disney princess. Well, anyway, it's better later than never, but anyway, the fact is quite showing, I think. So, I have watched the movie a couple of days ago and I actually really enjoyed it. I really loved the character, I really loved uh, Tiana girl because she's really creative, she's crafty, she's funny, really very nice girl. So, I feel now very, very, very inspired to make her in a doll form. My mom is going to help me with her outfit, so she has quite a serious challenge for today because it's quite a complicated dress, I think. So, and I will do all the rest, we'll make shoes, faces, everything, like always. So, let's start working, it's quite a big project today. And while I'm working, of course, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new here. I upload Dory Paint videos, well, trying to do it every week Friday, but sometimes I have to skip a Friday if I'm working on a bigger project, because sometimes it's really impossible to squeeze a big two weeks project into five, seven working days. So, subscribe to my channel if you are new here, of course, support my art here on YouTube with your likes, and let's start working, guys! So, as a model for this makeover, we will use, of course, the Claudine doll, because she has just the perfect face mold for Tiana. The only problem here is that she has these wolf ears and there is no human ears whatsoever and since Tiana wears her hair mostly up, or at least in the look that we will try to recreate she will wear it up, the lack of human ears would look seriously off on this doll. But I think I've got an idea how to solve it, but first of all we need to undress the doll and we need to get rid of her hair and makeup to get a clean canvas. So, let's go! I make her head soft using hot air of my hair dryer like always, it will help me to make the rubber head soft and kind of easily removable from the body and it will also melt the glue that is still keeping the rest of her hair inside. And when her old hair is gone, we can wipe her face off using pure acetone. Thank you. 
Now we are going to cut this animal ears off. We don't need them today. And the holes in her head we are going to cover up with pieces of sticky warbler thermoplastic. Okay guys, now let's talk about ear transplantation. I have here this very strange doll head. I've got this doll heads from AliExpress for a video where I was testing and comparing different brands of pencils, which of them work better on dolls. I needed a bunch of the same heads for the experiment, so I just ordered them from China and thank God to have a couple of them left because this is absolutely priceless for today's makeover. Because check it out, these are knockoff heads with a face sculpt of Draculaura and skin tone of Claudine. Don't ask me how it has happened to them, but I'm actually very happy about this accident because this mix gives me a pair of human ears in the required skin tone. Really, what a happy coincidence, fantastic. So now let's cut the ears from one head and attach them to another. When the glue gets dry, I cover the head with black acrylics and after this we will give her new dark hair. And here is her new hair a couple of hours later, everything looks good, the patches on her head are completely covered with new hair, so now I can attack a glue inside of the head to keep this new hair in place. Then I will give it a day to dry and after this I will seal her face with Mr. Super Clear to prep the surface and then I will draw the face. I begin like always with sketching her eyes and eyebrows and after this we'll work on her skin tone using soft pastels. I will do no dramatic changes to her skin tone today, it's already absolutely perfect, but I will just add some shadows and also highlight some spots to make her more realistic and alive. Guys, I know these peach pastels look terribly white right now, but after I seal it with Mr. Super Clear, all this white base will be gone and we will get a very, very light peach tint that would look quite right here, I think. Voila, you see what's happened after I sealed it? All this white is gone and her skin tone looks very normal and healthy. Tiana wears pink eyeshadows, so let's add them now. And I also add a touch of blush to her cheeks. So on the next step is actually drawing the eyes, eyebrows and lips. And I'm using my watercolor pencils like always and this time I'm using a mix of uh, Faber-Castell Albrecht Durer pencils and also Caradash Supra Color.
In the end add reflections to her eyes using white acrylics and this step makes eyes immediately more realistic and more alive. So now when the face is finished we need to take care of her body, the color difference is not that big today, but I still have to add all these shadows, the same like we've just done on her face, and first of all I'm sanding this body with nail buffers and I spray it with Mr. Super Clear to prepare the surface. Okay, now the face and the body look good, I will let them for a while and right now I think we can talk about her outfit and accessories. You know, Tiana wears multiple different outfits in the movie, I think she has probably the best wardrobe out of all Disney princess characters, because there are casual restaurant outfits. That fantastic outfit from the 20s from her dream restaurant. Then there was that strange masquerade dress, really all kinds of dresses. There was also that beautiful blue gown. But we will go today, of course, for the iconic lily dress, because it's just perfect. It's one of, one of the most beautiful dresses I've ever seen, really. The shape, the design, the color. And now you can see my mom working on this quite a serious challenge. She starts with making an underskirt, or the right name for this probably petticoat, I believe. I'm binge watching historical dressmaking videos right now. Miss Bernadette Banner is my favorite at the moment. Yeah, and so I'm getting slowly educated about the right terms in English for sewing and costume making. Really, I find these videos extremely fascinating and also extremely calming, really. So I'm getting educated at the moment. So, and when this petticoat is finished, my mom starts making a skirt of the future gown out of this beautiful cream color silk. The next step is making an imitation of flower petals out of a satin ribbon and attaching them to the skirt. After making the petals we will also need some green leaves and you can see now my mom making them out of green taffeta and she uses actually heat of a lighter to shape the fabric as real leaves.
Now we can make a top of the dress using the same green taffeta and my mom also decorating it with white satin petals. After this we can connect the top and the skirt together and we can decorate the front of the dress with a white flower. And look guys, check it out what a beauty we've got in the end, really unbelievable, it's an absolutely flawless Tiana flower dress. This is officially the coolest outfit my mom ever made. Everything is just so perfect, not normal. All these flower petals, the leaves. The skirt is made out of quite thick silk, so it really holds the shape nicely. And here is also this beautiful petticoat or underskirt, how you call it. It looks very delicate and really very, very, very pretty. Yeah, and here is also our pair of gloves. So now let's probably put it already on the doll's body. The body is finished, why not? And then we can make a pair of shoes and also a tiara to complete the look. I will start probably with a pair of shoes, you can see I've cut already all the details out of Warbler Thermoplastic and now we are going to warm them up and connect all the parts together. Here are the basic shoes, that's a nice start, so now let's cover them with acrylics.
Now I want to decorate the front of my shoes with big lily flowers and the flowers we are going to make out of thin wire. So you can see first I've made a simple flower with round petals and now I want to make them more sharp, give them more like a shape of lily petals. And guys, check out our flower, it looks already very good. Now let's take some gel nail polish and fill in the inside of the petals. And then we'll cure them in a UV lamp. Now let's connect the flowers to the shoes and then I still want to glue a couple of golden balls to the middle of the flowers. And guys, I think we're done with this part of the project. The shoes look absolutely fantastic. And now let's make a tiara for our doll. Her tiara in the movie looks like, you know, like a lily flower, like a bunch of petals together. So I've cut out these five petals out of Warbler thermoplastic. And now I'm going to shape them to look more like lily petals. I'm going to like fold them in the middle. Now we can connect the petals and I will do it actually with hot glue because if I warm the petals up with hair dryer or with anything else they will become soft again and they will lose the shape and this is not the point. I want them to stay hard and then that's why I'm connecting them together with hot glue. And then I attach a strap of warbler to the flower to make a headband. Okay, this is what we've made and now I think I can paint the crown with acrylics.
And you know what? I think it would be a really good idea to add some green rhinestones to the green center of the flower. It would be a really nice accent, I think. And then I'm going to take a couple of beads. I will attach them to our wire, making something like, uh, like stamen, something like this, stamen of a flower. And these things I will glue to the back of our flower tiara. I've covered it with a piece of warble on top. Maybe it's not the most elegant solution, but at least it's very strong. Right now our stamens will not fall out. So, and now I think our crown looks kind of finished and right now I can start styling her hair. Well, first of all, I want to crimp her hair a little bit. It will not make it look exactly like afro hair, but it will give me at least a little bit more similar hair texture. Then I separate a couple of tiny strands of hair. And out of the rest of her hair, we will make a ponytail. I put another elastic to the end of the ponytail. And I also put our wire through the same place, through this elastic on the end of the ponytail. And right now, I will turn her hair in and fix the wire around the bottom of the ponytail. And then the bottom of this hairdo I will fix with pins. No, it was actually still too early to fix it with pins to her head, because I still should attach her tiara first. So now let's unpin it, do the tiara on and then pin it again. <laughs> So this is how it looks, very cute, and now I'm still going to curl this hair, these tiny strands of hair that we've left loose. Okay guys, now I think it looks officially super cute. Well, now let's still attach false lashes. Do some glossy varnish to her eyes and lips. And after this, yeah, there is just one tiny detail left. Thank you. 
Well, and the last missing detail is, of course, the frog prince. It wouldn't be complete without him. So I've downloaded this adorable frog online. I think he kind of looks like the prince in his frog form. And now I will try to print him using my 3D printer. And look at an adorable tiny thing we've got, really super. Now let's wash him, cure, and then we'll paint him with acrylics. So guys, here is our adorable tiny frog prince. Now it's time to reunite him with Tiana and then we'll take a look at the end result pictures finally. So guys, here are our princess and our frog in their full glory. And you know what? Even though I really knew nothing about this princess before starting the project, this is probably my favorite doll in the entire collection of Disney princess dolls that I've made so far. Of course, my mom's dress is playing a huge role in it because it's just flawless. But anyway, all the other details that I've made, they also work together really well, so I'm really happy today. And the frog, it's really just a, a cherry on top of the project. So I'm really happy that I wasn't lazy and that I've made him because this frog really brings everything together. It really completes the project. And I also really love the curls around her face. They make her extremely, extremely cute. So, and there are actually not that many Disney princess characters left to make for me. I don't know, Princess Aurora, Pocahontas, who else? Belle? I don't know, that's it probably. Have I forgotten someone? Probably yes, probably I've forgotten someone. But anyway, write me in the comments who do you want to see next? Who should be the next Disney princess for me to make? Let's finally complete this collection of Disney princess dolls and then we can start something else. I don't know, maybe a collection of villains or something else. So if you have any good ideas for new collections, you can also let them in the comments because fresh ideas are always welcome on this channel. Well, and this doll is right now available for sale on eBay for three days. Please check out the link in the description box under this video if you feel like you might need this Tiana doll in your life. So, and that was my doll transformation of the week. I really hope that you enjoyed it today. And if so, please, 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 guys, don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. Of course, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos. And I will see you very soon, probably next week, Friday, but I'm not sure because I'm working on a completely new, different kind of a doll right now. And there are certain, you know, details that can be a little bit tried, experimented with. So maybe next Friday, like 50-50, maybe I'll have to skip, but in two weeks we will for sure see each other again here on my channel in my studio. So love you guys. Please take care. Bye.